Okay, so you're here holiday, what are you here for? Uh, I'm actually here, um, I'm working with the Christian ministry. So oh, okay. Yeah, but actually I'm with a friend, we're just walking around and... Uh, so what Christian are you, if you don't mind asking? Um, I'm a Protestant Christian, so technically in the United States we call it non-denomination. But, uh, um, so majority of Christians, they are Protestants? Yes. Ah, yes. okay. Yeah. Well, okay, that's not totally true. There's a lot of Catholics. There's a lot of Catholic. Yes, yes. But a majority, majority, is that, so, so what do you think? Is there more Catholic or more Protestant? The United States definitely more Protestant, yes. Uh, more Protestant. Is that not like uh, Ireland? Ireland's more Catholic. Sorry? You, Ireland is I'm more sure. Catholic. Yeah, but, but Britain, I mean, England is more Protestant. Yes, yes. So you believe Jesus to be God? I do, I do believe, yes, yes. So and you believe he was God and he became a baby? Yes, I do. I believe he became flesh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Seriously, I'll ask you. Define God. Sorry? Define God. Uh, I don't think God is uh, definable. I believe, obviously, hello everyone. Uh, hello, I, yeah. <laughs> I believe um, in the Holy Trinity. So God is one. Um, the Creator? Trinity. Yes, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I mean. No, let's see, let's see if we agree with the definition of God. God is the Creator. Yes, absolutely. Do you agree with that? God has no beginning, no end. Mm -hmm. yes, Do you agree with that? God is self-sufficient. Yes, I do believe He's that. not in need of no one, everyone's in need of him. Okay? So, logically speaking now, if we say God is the creator, we are negating that he's the created. He's not created, because he's the, the creator. You know? So you're negating that. You negate that, yeah? Sorry, say it again. So you negate God is created. No, I believe God is. The creator. God, so God yeah. is not created. So what I believe, and I think this is classic Orthodox Christianity, yeah. and it's the hope of the gospel, is that God, the uncreated God, uh, came to live as a man. So he, and again, we believe God 100% man, 100% God. Yeah, we're going to come to that. But So you believe God is the creator. When you say God is self-sufficient, mm -hmm. is it all the time or sometimes? All the time. In all the, the time. divine nature, yes. He's not in need of nothing. So when he became a baby, the baby's nature is in need of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you told me God is not in need of nothing all the time. At the same time, you said God become flesh and a baby. By definition, that's called paradox. That, yeah, it's a paradox. It's like telling you God has no beginning, no end. Is it possible for God has no beginning, can be the same one who has a beginning? I think... What you're saying, though, again, uh, what we believe, God wasn't always, but He became a man. Again, it's, it's not like He's 50% God or 50% man. I believe He's 100% God. That's a paradox as well. Because 100% man means that when God becomes a man, He has to lose the, His divine attribute to become a man. If He never loses attribute of divine attribute, so He never became a man. Because to become a man, you have to become a human being. And human beings does not possess divine attributes. Likewise, God does not possess human attribute which is created. That's why my question was to you. That's why we look to the Quran. One of the rational verse in the Quran is a powerful verse. Allah said about Jesus and his former mother Mary. Both of them used to eat food. Why Allah mentioned that? That is the nature of the Most High. If someone is in need of food, therefore he needs the food to survive. That's not the nature of the Most High, who is self-sufficient all the time, who has no begin, no end, who is perfect all the time. So you are telling me, God who is perfect all the time, he became imperfect. That's what you're saying. I think God became imperfect. I think that, okay, so we believe, most men now, y'all believe in sin, right? Y'all have the same, y'all call it sin or transgression. Um, I, I'm, I'm assuming, are you a Muslim or are you of the Islam faith or of another faith? What do you think? I would imagine. Well, I'm a Muslim, alhamdulillah. I just told you the Quran said. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Muslim. We believe in a sin, but we don't believe we were born with the sins. No, no. We believe human beings, were, uh, babies, were born sinless. Sinless? Okay. Yeah. And everyone has chosen sin? Can some not choose sin? Yes. I like give the ability, free will and the ability for the people to choose to do sin or not to do sin. So, um, do you believe that, that you have sinned in your life? No, that's a different thing. Because Islamically speaking, I'm not allowed to expose, even if I did sins, I'm not allowed to expose my sins to no one. Islamically, if I commit sin, I don't have to tell you or tell my father or my mother. What I have to do, I repent to the Creator, do righteous actions, and if I wronged it, one, if I wronged another person, I have to go, we have the condition of repentance, Islamically speaking, I have to go and apologize to him. Look, I repent to Allah, but there's other condition because I wronged the guy. So because I wronged him, I oppressed him, I apologize to him.
You understand? So, as far as heaven and Judgment Day, because y'all do believe in Judgment Day, correct? Yes, we do believe, yeah. Okay, so but I have respect to digressing, though. I'm sorry, well, can I a couple questions? Uh, yeah. no, but, but before that, you have to, to agree with me, because why? Uh, you, know, you know, what I'm doing here, I'm showing you, look, if the foundation, yeah, remind me of your name? Stephen. Stephen, my name Shamsi, yeah, just to remind you as well. Stephen, I'm saying to you, if the foundation, yeah, is hard for you to, to grasp, because it doesn't make any sense, I've respect, yeah, intellectually, what, what distinguishes Islam from any way of life? Islam goes in line with our universal knowledge. What do I mean by universal knowledge? Universal knowledge, every human being possesses that universal knowledge. Every human being knows it is illogical, irrational, impossible for someone to be perfect all the time. At the same time, hey, 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 hey. Sorry, sorry. so for someone to be perfect all the time, at the same time it's imperfect. Do you agree with that? That is not. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, but I think what you mean by imperfect. Again, I I don't think that Jesus was imperfect. When I think of imperfect, I think of sinning against God Almighty, doing things that are wrong. Was inside. Jesus in need of his mother to survive? Yes, of course. Like, like is God in need of people? In his human nature, he did. Of course, he needed someone. No, no, Again, God, God, God. That's God in need of people. Does God need people? That is God in need of people to survive. No, but God Almighty chose, and this is, I think, you know, and again, I, I'm not too familiar with Islam, so forgive me, I don't yeah. want to say something else. Yeah, yeah, no is, I think this is the hope that I have in the gospel. God's not someone who's up there and looks down at the world and, and just thinks, oh, oh, screw them. We believe in the God who has come down, has actually lived among us, and has joined in in our pain, new, real human pain, and walked as a man and, and gave himself on the cross for our sins. Yeah, but alhamdulillah, we don't believe in God like that. Allah, we believe. Allah, Islamically, our God, the God of everything. Your God if, seems very distant. No, no, it's not. No, because Allah mentioned Our the Quran. You know what Allah said? Allah said, Qareebun min al muhsinin. Allah is very close to the righteous ones. Not just the righteous ones, Allah is close to everyone. By what? With His knowledge, with His mercy, with His forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you commit sin, Allah doesn't have to kill no one. Allah forgives sins because He's able to forgive sins. Because imagine now, how, what is mercy? Mercy is... So he can't forgive anyone's sins, but he doesn't forgive all? Why does Allah forgives forgive all the all? sins. So everyone will be in heaven? No, 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 no. There's conditions to it. So why he forgive... I thought you said he... So does God, does Allah love everyone? Does he care about everyone? He cares about everyone. That's why Allah, even people who disbelieve in Allah, Allah yet... You have to let me finish. And, and he can forgive You have to everyone. let me to finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Why but you have to let me to answer it, yeah. Okay. Allah forgives everyone on the condition they seek forgiveness. Mm -hmm. If the guy is not seeking forgiveness and he's worshipping a pagan, he's a pagan worshipper, he's a Satan follower, doesn't want to seek forgiveness, don't blame Allah, don't blame the Creator. I mean, even when you say Allah loves everyone, Allah loves goodness for everyone. Allah loves, Allah shows mercy to everyone, even the atheists. But my point here is, so you are saying, you God became imperfect. His name became a man. Are men perfect or imperfect? You're talking about the paradox. I think what you're speaking of is a paradox, and it's it's a trap question. And, and again, it's not a lie. It's not. It's clear. There's lots of things you know about God that we can't understand. I think if we can logically systemize everything about God, your God might be a little too small, and he might be a little too man-made. No, what we're doing here, Steve? Yeah, and we, what we're talking about, Steve? We're not talking about something we don't know about God. What we're talking about? What we know about God? We are utilizing that knowledge which God gave it to us through scriptures about himself and analyze it and get any claim. You and I, we know God is perfect all the time. So now if you tell me God who said he's perfect all the time, at the same time he became a baby by definition that, that is a paradox. I, I'm not saying because I'm not asking you how God look because that's beyond our capacity. We don't know how he looks. Is there anything wrong no, with, with a baby no, meeting his mother? Huh? No, it's my mother. Baby is human. God is not human. God became human. But Again, is human are created or not? Yes, and that's. Is God created? God became. God is not created, but in He's his uncreated. Nature, he took on human nature. Philippians two uh, talks about God giving over, not not giving up, but that's what he says. He said giving up. Says He's divine. Out. The Hebrew is pouring out. We believe it depends what translation. Christianity believes that he poured out, poured out his divine qualities by becoming man. Doesn't mean he be became less God. And you look and you follow. What the does that mean? Pour out. No. What does that mean? Pour out. Agreed always that he became man. Again, no, not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. Because I, I started, I started Christianity very well. Not all of them. Who? Well, who? Uh, I'll tell you who. who for, for example, Nazir, Yeah, but again, who are you gonna define what is orthodox or not? 
Nazarenes don't agree with you. Nazarene, Nazarenes don't agree with you. Nazarene? Yeah, the first sect of Christianity. Okay. The first followers of Jesus. Don't agree with what you believe about Jesus. But before that, before that, you said go pour down. No, no, no. But you have to, you have to. That's you said, no, no. You have. To, I will come to that. But you said go pour down his attributes. No, no, no. Don't excuse me. Let me. No, I'm asking scripture. you. Let yeah, quote it. Scott. I, um, I don't. I just don't want to misquote. And I tell you what, historic Christ, Orthodox Christianity believes. Okay. He says has the same the same mindset of Christ Jesus. So Paul is basically call, 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 this, call the passage. Call the passage. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm go, go. He's telling people, look, be like Jesus. Okay, who, being in very nature God, so he is God Almighty, did not consider equality with God something used to his advantage. What Paul is talking about here is other people, basically people trying to say they're better than others and they're not loving each other. And so he's pointing to God, to Jesus, who came down and served, saying, because God served you, serve others. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness so yes god am i again it can sound paradoxy but there's things about god no it can sound it is paradox it's, again how would you define the, the word that's not the point paradox right? is when you're saying something exists and don't exist at the same time paradox when you try to say something which clearly go against each other from every angle and now when you say God become a human being, okay, by definition, human being, especially a baby, bro, a baby, a small baby, someone changing his nappy, someone breastfeeding him, are you telling me God became like that? He became a man. No, he became a baby first. He became yeah. A ba yeah, a baby. So he became a baby. And deep down you believe that he was, that baby was God who was perfect all the time. Yes. May Allah help you. Take care of yourself still. Now seriously, you know deep down that is not true. Well, I ask you to Allah. Deep down, you're going to go home and you're going to think, hold a minute, God the Almighty, the Creator, the Powerful, the Greatest, the Strongest, the Uncreated, has no beginning, no end, become a baby, someone church is happy. I will believe that that, that Almighty God, who has created the earth, came down again as a man, became a baby to rescue you, would he, me, so, and everyone. Okay, before that, before he became a baby, would he rescue people before that? Yes, but the salvation. So he, did, he didn't have to become a baby to rescue people. He did. He did because. No, no, listen carefully. Before, before, even remember, before he became a baby, according to you, believe, which doesn't make any sense. Before he became a baby, according to the Bible, if you go to the Old Testament, you don't have to believe God become a baby. As long as you do righteous actions and you repent to God, then where are you gonna go? Which way? Huh? Where are you going? No, no. Okay, okay. Look, the Old Testament teaches you clearly, explicitly, simply that if you repent to God, turn away from the sins then God will rescue save you. Therefore, this argument, God become a human being, because if you ask God, how come he never did it? And the, how come the father never did it? Because you say about God, God is not a father. The, the father never became a baby, according to your belief. It's Jesus who became a baby. And according to Jesus, who is a true God? According to Jesus, not according to you or to your priest in, in this church. According to Jesus, who is the true God? God, we believe that Jesus believed he was the true God. So, do you want to... Okay, according to Jesus, Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. You said Jesus believed he was a true God. But Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. So, if he said the Father, let me ask you, is Jesus the Father or the Son, or who is he? Jesus, is, he's not the Father, is he? Uh -huh. He's not the Father. So, we Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. Therefore, he's not talking about himself because he already stated to us he's not the father. Therefore, who should we believe? Jesus who said the only true God is the father or you who said Jesus is true God? Exodus, can, can, I, can I counter that with, with, with the point? First off, I'm not exactly sure what verse that is. And I think it's That's slightly, in John. I just think it's slightly taken out of context. No, it's not there. Hey, I'll show you. Also in John, Exodus, thir Exodus 3, 14, God said his name is Yahweh. Before he said, Yahweh, which means I am. He said, this is my name. John 8, 52 and 54. You can go read it. And people you haven't asked my question, voice. Steve. He says, Ekwe. Yes, Steve, you haven't asked a question, Stephen. Jesus said the only true God is the Father. Do you agree with that? Show me the verse. Hey, uh, Again, it's in context. All right, I'll read, the, read the context. Well, I'll read the context. I'll show you, yeah? Well, like, even rationally. You know, look, you, you're struggling to explain, but I will tell you something. Look how Allah described himself, Stephen, yeah? Allah said in the Quran, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say Allah is only one unique. 
Sorry. is only one, the only one, the unique. Allah Samad is a master, self-sufficient. He's not in need of nothing. Everything is in need of him. He begat not, neither was he begotten. No one gave a birth to him. He was not born. They gave, doesn't give birth to no one. And they, there's nothing like unto him. He's the creator, we are the creation. There's nothing like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This description of Allah in the Quran, a person who studied in, in Oxford University can understand it. A shepherd in his farm can understand it. A child can understand it. But you come to your belief, God is perfect. God is no human being, but he became a baby. Baby, someone changes nappy. God is not the father. The father is God. The son is God, but there is only one God, but the Holy Spirit is God. The son said the true God is the father. The father is not God. Jesus is God, but he does not the hour. You can't explain that, bro. Wallahi, man. Look, come to Islam. Make sense. Perfect sense, alhamdulillah. Here I show you. The only true God is the father. Yes, are y'all all of the Islam faith? Okay. Um, this is just a, a question I have for y'all. And I'm, I'm genuine. Like, like, I would like to know. Yeah, but you can't speak to me. You don't speak to people here. Yeah, you speak it to me. Just, just, just a, a couple, please. Just a couple of questions. Yeah, but, but, but you come to ask. People are speaking it, to me. It's not even about oh, no, facts no, or anything. It's just in Islam, what what gives you hope? You know, like like you wake up every day. And I know as a, as a Christian, I have hope that Jesus loves me and that he's, he's for me and that he came for me and that he's going to come for me. And I walk in that every day. And I just, so you like, do what? You do what? You walk with him? I, I, I was, what, and, and seriously, like, like if you could so I'll show you John. consider it, like, what gives you hope? Allah gives me hope. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Who gave hope to Jesus? No, who gave hope to Jesus? The Father, absolutely. So you give hope in Jesus, but Jesus gave hope to the Father. We give hope to the one who you call Father. So we are followers of Jesus, and you don't follow Jesus. Jesus, he, get, he, was, he had a hope in the Father. You have hope in Jesus. All of us as a Muslim, we have hope in which you call the Father. So who's follower of Jesus? We are. One more question. It's okay. That, that makes sense. I get that. Um, on the last day, on Judgment Day, do you have assurance and conviction that Allah, who you worship, will receive you into his kingdom on the last day? Yeah. Are you guaranteed? Which is great. Yeah. So it's, it's guaranteed? Muslims guarantee go Jannah, yeah. Allah, the Quran, Muslimin, Muslims, they will go in Jannah, they will be in paradise. They will be honored. They will be treated very well. Now, John, John, you want to see John? Uh, one thing, uh, thank you. And I do think, you know, uh, again, my, my, hope, my hope is in Jesus. But the last day, it is the most important thing. And so, whatever decision you make, just know that have a really good reason. And, and it may be this, and if that's the conclusion you reach, that's okay. Have a really good reason to reject Jesus. And, you know, look, look for yourself what Jesus said. Um, and if you decide, then, then that's right. They follow Jesus. You don't follow Jesus. Jesus had, Jesus had hope in the Father. They have hope, and we have a hope in that which you call the Father. So, hey, me, no, hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, No, no, John, John, John. You want to read John? I, I really must go. I've been talking way too long. Thank, but the verse, thank the passage, you all for having me. The passage. Really the passage. Anyway, I read to the people. Uh, in John 7, 17, 33. Now, this is eternal life that you know. They know you, the only true God. And Jesus whom you have sent, yeah? A Christ. So Jesus is a Christ, and the only true God is the Father. You know, subhanAllah, he noticed that the truth is hitting him. So what he did, he walked away. In Shabbat, we pray to Allah, guide him. But look, subhanAllah, the reason why, you know, I mentioned that before, yeah? No one rejects Islam intellectually. Because Islam goes in line with our sound reasoning, our natural inclination. People reject Islam for two reasons. Either it's a psychological factor, which means he's too arrogant to accept the truth. He looks down on the Prophet Muhammad because he came from the Arab Peninsula, and he thinks he's from the Western world is better. That's going to be one of the, the factors. Or he's a leader of people. He doesn't want to lose that. Or what they call it? Um, social factor. What is social factor? He knows if he accepts the truth, what happened to him? His family is going to turn against him. So that, is, that will prevent him. But no way. It's, we'll have this. That's why Alhamdulillah by Allah Sufiq, when we give doubt to people, he says Islam makes sense, I believe it's the truth. Why not to accept? He would never say intellectually it doesn't make sense. Alhamdulillah. They run away, subhanAllah.
الحمد لله ما الله قادم حياك الله والله يجي بارك الله فيك بارك الله فيك ها لا لا تقول 